Hi everybody, it's me, Carrie, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator, coming to you in a pre-recorded video from Farmington Hills, Michigan. Um, if you're new here, make sure you say hello, even if you're not new. If you're one of my fantastic, wonderful followers, say hi. Anyway, I am going to always go back and look at all of the comments. Um, also, don't forget to share my videos to be part of the drawings. Um, if you guys saw last week's party week, whoo, gave away a lot of stuff. It was so much fun. Anyway, um, I hope you will continue to come back for more fun every time um, just to enjoy it. So today we are going to do something a little bit different with the Hello Ladybug stamp set. Um, I'm going to just check my screen. Okay. Wanted to see where I was in camera and not because for some reason when I record, I get a tighter, um, a tighter, I don't know, view area. So I have to make sure where I am. So, okay, as I said, we're going to use the Hello Ladybug and the Hello Ladybug Punch. We are also going to use the Dragonfly Punch and... Um, although I pre-punched it, we are also going to use the um, medium, I think it's medium, yep, medium daisy punch. We don't have a small, so, you know, it's like when you go to the, when you go to the uh, fast food restaurants and you ask for a small and they say, we don't have small, we only have medium, large, and extra large. Hello, you have small, medium, and large, right? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but hello. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to be using um, those two punches as well. We're also going to use a little bit of the Simply Elegant um, twine. I'm going to be using a piece of gold. And then for some fun bling, we are going to add the Red Rhinestone Basic Jewels. Um, the cardstock we are using uh, is Pear Pizzazz Basic White and Basic Black. I'm also using two different Designer Series papers. This one, I always forget the names of them because there's just so many. Um, this one is from Heart and Home. We're going to be using that side. And then the other one is from Flowering Fields. And uh, we're going to be using the polka dotted sides. So um, here we go. And of course, an envelope. Got to have an envelope. Have you guys bought our Stampin' Up! envelopes? I'm not kidding you. They are so smooth and soft. If you are buying inexpensive envelopes, hey, I get it. You know, I get it. But if you really want to make an impression with your envelopes, Stampin' Up! envelopes are, I wish, I wish there were, this was like feel-a-vision. So, so, so nice. I love them. Anyway, um, just a little shout out to that. All right, so let's get started. I am going to move some of this stuff out of my way for just a moment. And we will start with, pardon me, folding our Pear Pizzazz cardstock in half. This piece is five and a quarter by eight and a half, folded at four and a quarter to get your basic card base here in the United States. This is, I think it's a, called an A2 card. I don't know. I call it a card. What's with these letters? I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I, I don't know metric either. I know back when I was in school, which was like, you know, a long time ago, they were talking about the metric system, but we never learned it. And I don't know that my kids know it. I don't know. Maybe they do. And I just don't know that they do. Okay. So I am going to do the inside of the card first. So because I like to do that and, and have that out of the way. So uh, these are photopolymer stamps. So I am going to grab this and I'm, oh, here it is. I thought I lost it. So I'm going to be using, that's not it. <laughs> this is it. I'm going to be using these little flowers right here just to decorate the corner of the inside of the card. Now, of course, you can do a pretty sentiment on the inside, and I do like inside sentiments, but I also like to be sure that I have enough room to write whatever it is I want to write on here to my friend, because um, I'm always so sad at Christmas, and I know when we're doing our Christmas cards, 
we're in a hurry. We've got a lot to do, right? And we've been making them and then we got to sign them all. But I just, um, I really like when I open up a card and maybe it's stamped with some holiday sentiment in there or a birthday sentiment, whatever it is. But when the people take the time to write some nice thing inside, uh, it just, it just warms my heart so much. So I like to, um, to do that. And I stamped this in Poppy Parade, just so you guys know. So that's my tyrant on, um, why I really like having words on the inside of a card. Now, some of you know that I send cards out to you guys, and I do not write on the inside of them at all. And that is because I like it to be kind of like a gift. And I don't know if you've received that. How do you feel about that? Um, do you like that I give you the opportunity to gift the card or, or would you, you know, prefer not to have that little gift and have me write in it? I'm very curious about that because I've been doing it with the kind of give you the card way for quite a long time. But if that doesn't make people happy, I want to know. But see how pretty that looks on the inside. And of course, you can do more or add more to it. But it's just a little simple, pretty flowers. And um, and then there's the front of the card. Next, I am going to put on this designer series paper, the wood side. Now, this this paper, um, I thought this would be more recognizable for you guys for the for the paper pack. Um, all of the back sides are wood. And I will show you um, the other card that I made that's just like this one, but I used a different wood background on it. So you will see. They're all just a little bit different. Some of them you'll think, hey, it's the same one, but it isn't. If you look closer, it is not the same. So this is just some designer series paper on the front. And one of the things I like about putting designer series paper on the front of a card is, is anybody can do it. If you are a brand new stamper, um, card maker, whatever, just something as simple as this can really make your cards stand out. Okay, so now here comes the fun. Fun, fun, fun. Let me, um, I'm still gonna do some stamping. I want to show you that I, um, I have a piece of basic white and a piece of pear pizzazz, which was cut out from the second to the largest. So hopefully you guys can see this on the video. This one here, not the largest, but the second to the largest. And this is from the Stitch So Sweetly um, dies, which I tend to grab them quite often. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see that not only is it scalloped, but there is a stitch line over it. So I measured that. And for the life of me, I don't know what I did with my measurement. Sometimes I write it on the back. Let me see if I stuck it somewhere. I don't know. I'm going to have to actually measure. Oh, so much trouble, right? <laughs> so, because it's weird. It's a, it's a weird measurement. So I do want to tell you guys to fit it on the inside. And I wanted it to fit so that I could still see the stitches. Okay. I think I'm going to sneeze. Give me just a minute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you for your patience. Real life, right? Um, I do my tapes just like I do my lives. I'm going for it. This is it. I, I, I very rarely ever retape them because you guys are used to my lives. So my mistakes are my mistakes. So this um, basic white is two and one eighth inches. Two and one eighth inches by three and a quarter. So I don't do one eighth inches very often. So um, I wanted you guys to know that that is what this is. So now I am going to, I've already pre-mounted on um, blocks, the stamps I'm going to use. So I am going to start with, excuse me, now I have snifflies, the Daisy stamp. And I am stamping that in Daffodil Delight. I love our inks. I love them. They're so, so, so pretty. And I'm going to stamp this so that it's down near the bottom because I want a little space in that upper corner. And it's probably going to be off a little bit. Yep, it is. And then I am going to use 
pear pizzazz. And this is, um, it's a little tiny center for your flower. And I'm betting that if you were really careful, you could get this to line up really good because it does have the little do jicama bobbers that like spike out. But um, I'm not worried about it. I'm not even worried that it's not super close to the center. It's okay. Whimsy is, is your friend. So now remember I said um, I was going to use the daisy punch. Well, I already did it. I was doing something practice wise and I did it on some designer series paper and then I didn't really like the way it came out. So um, I, excuse me, I chose to um, just punch it out. And when you punch it out, it is smaller. It is slightly smaller. But the nice thing about that is when you punch it out, you end up with um, a solid edge. You don't end up with any white. So now I'm going to set that on there and I'm going to grab my leaf. Now, if you have some temporary adhesive, um, which we used to sell, and I'm, I, I have to admit that I am bummed that we no longer do. Um, I would definitely temporary adhesive this. But if you set it in there, don't worry about the... Um, don't worry about the color showing. I'm hoping it looks like I have a bit of a shadow, but um, you can see that the yellow, I'm getting shadows everywhere. You can see that the yellow is um, outside of the punch. That's good because what happens is even though the paper is super thin, it, it gives you like a, um, a break and you'll end up with white on the edge. So it's, it's a good thing. And sometimes when you do this, you still end up with white on the edge. Uh, you know, it's just the way it goes. So I'm going to take the leaf because I want the flower on top of the leaf. I'm going to press that really good. And there you go. And you can see I still got, I still got a slight white edge around the flower, which is fine. If you wanted to, you could take a blender pen and pull that green in. Um, oh, good. I have one right here. So let's see how that would look. You could take a blender pen. Let me see if I have any green on the bottom of this. I do. And you could very carefully color this in. If that, if that white line bothers you, it, it doesn't bother me a whole lot, but I thought I would show you guys that technique. And then you just, you've kind of um, filled it in. Sometimes you can pull it just with the blender pen, but um, I didn't seem to be able to do that this time. So, so anyway, there we go with that. All right, so I have that little bit, and then I'm just going to take this little tiny hello from there. You can do whatever you want, but I just wanted a little tiny hello. And I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink for that. Make sure you have it right side up. Although, honestly, if I did it upside down, I'd be okay. And if you're worried about straight, I'm terrible at getting things straight, put it on an angle. Then, if you're crooked or not in the right spot, who knows? Nobody knows, because you just did it on an angle. All right, so I'm going to mat that on top of this one that I cut out with the dies. I'm using our awesome liquid glue. I find myself grabbing that more and more often. There are times like, you know, I want to use the um, seal, but I like the ability to adjust this and get it to where I think it looks the best. So there we go. Isn't that sweet? That's just a sweet little kind of a thing on there. And then I'm just going to put that right in the center of the card front. This glue, once it dries, I mean, it lets you slide for a little bit, but um, once you've got it on there, it stays stuck. Let me see if that looks straight. Perfection is overrated. There we go. All right, now, I'm going to do a couple of different things with this ladybug punch, wherever I put it. There it is. I'm going to punch out the ladybug's body in basic black. 
And then I am going to punch out the ladybug's wings out of these polka dots. How cute is that, right? I mean, why think hard? Yes, you can stamp it. You can stamp it and punch it out and then even make the, the black dots on the inside. You can do that. But um, now here's a fun thing. This ladybug, when their wings are open, they're flying, right? So I'm going to fold it and then curl these a little bit. Not a lot because they don't like curl a lot. <clears throat> and then I am going to grab my black foam dots. I'm going to use the small ones. And my, huh, I don't see my take your pick tool. So I will be grabbing my snips to pick these up. I definitely prefer to grab my take your pick tool because I don't really want to get sticky on these because they cut better when they're not full of sticky. And yes, you can, you know, get something to clean them, but, um, you know, why clean them if you don't have to, if you, if you keep them just for paper. I also have, um, I also have another set, another pair that are just, they're just for ribbon. So, um, and I tied the ribbon on there because same thing. If you cut them with um, paper, they're not as adaptable to ribbon. So, you know, these are important things to know about. I think I took those off a little too soon, those backings for my dimensionals. So, so in that case, since it's not coming out and I won't need a big splooch, I'm going to, I'm going to put it on here. Ah, oh, there it is. Nice and thick just what I didn't want. <laughs> it's close to heart. So since I have a lot, I'm going to fold this and grab a little bit of it so I have it on there. I'm going to put my ladybug right there. Since it's a ladybug, although I'm sure there must be boy ladybugs, obviously. I mean, it just seems logical. And I'm going to hold that for just a minute. And then my wings are up a little bit. Not a lot just a little bit so that they have some movement and flight in them, right? Now, you're probably going, Carrie, what the heck are you going to do with that? You're going to make a, a red dragonfly? No, but I do need a dragonfly body. So I am going to take the dragonfly and punch out just the body and I'm getting a little a little tiny black dragonfly I'm collecting these because I am going to be doing something fun with them I don't know what it is I have no idea but I will I will come up with something fun and I will show you guys that all right so now I have this but I need to trim it just a little bit. This is all gonna make sense to you later. And I don't know how well you guys can see this, but this dragonfly has like bumps. There's like, like little, it looks like it's a bunch of little circles all put together. So just grab one of them. And I'm not sure if this is the right length, but, and then I'm gonna just try and make it kind of, kind of circular. It's not perfect. You know how I feel about that, so I'm good. So, there you go. And then I know that this is going to be too strange, so I need to just trim them down. I still need something because I'm going to be adhering stuff to it. So now I have this funky little, little body, right? And I'm going to grab my my um, ladybug punch again. And let me see if I can get this out of my way. And I am going to punch out two of these. Okay, can you see where I'm going yet? Go ahead and guess. If you see where I'm going with this, comment and, and uh, let me know what you're thinking. So now I am going to put just a little bit of adhesive right here, 
just on at the um, at the V because I don't want it to go where I don't want it to go. Now I'm going to take the body and line it up like so. I am getting stuff where I don't want it. I can see that. That's irritating. And I also can, um, I also want to be careful when I do this that like I can see a little bit of the black and I don't want to see that. So I'm going to reach in and snip that off. And then I'm going to, I'm going to snip it off here too, because now I know that's too long. And I am getting some goobers there. That does bug me. I'll probably take my, um, glue eraser and, and try to remove that. So, oh, I already put some on here. So I don't want that to be too thick on this one too. So I'm going to do that, get some of that off. Now my fingers are sticky and oh my goodness, Carrie. And I'm just going to try and line it up. And as you can probably see, I have made a butterfly. Right? Cute, 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 cuteness. Now, I want to tell you that this is all my idea and I am just that brilliant, but I, I didn't. I saw someone else do it. Um, I am just like you. I see things people do and go, that is so cool. I have to do it. Um, that person did something a little bit different for their antennae. Antennae, antennas, I don't know. But this is how I got it to work. I took a glue dot and I put it right on the head of the now butterfly. And then some of this awesome gold trim. And I will tell you, it is not friendly when it comes to sticking down. So I actually started it, oh, let go of my finger. I started it way down here. Hoping you guys can see that way down here and did a crisscross and then stuck the crisscrosses in like so. And the reason I did that is because it didn't want to just take it as a fold. It didn't fold well enough. So then I grab, I'm grabbing a piece of tape, some scotch tape, and I am taping that down. Okay. I don't know if that's quite enough, so hang on. I'm going to do some across this way also. Just make sure that it doesn't show behind the wings and nobody needs to know. But then see, you've got you've got the antennae. So I'm just going to trim them off. Ta-da! And now this one, I'm just going to do a little bit with the wings just to give it a little bit of a, a floof. And some more. Did I drop them? I dropped something earlier, but I don't know what it was. It must have been my dimensionals. So, okay, I'll use white ones. That's fine. And I'm going to just put those on each of the wings, as you can see. Oh, I got some glue on there. I have to clean my snips. Do you guys clean your snips? There is a product, or there was, on the market called undo u-n-d-o and it does clean this stuff you can also use hand sanitizer and i know you have some hand sanitizer hand san sanitizer often works really well also now um i would tell you to go ahead and use some liquid glue on the center of this little guy's body but the truth is, with the tape on there, it's not going to do you a whole lot of good. So, what I recommend is just the littlest bit of tear and tape. Because, you know, tear and tape, that, that is some serious tape, right? And we're going to stick that on right there. Let's see if 
if I can pick that off. There we go. And that kind of helps hold the body a little flatter. And we're going to stick him up here. Press down the body and lightly tap down. Did I take the stickers off? Yep, I did. Okay. Not on that one. <laughs> Missed one. There you go. That is my card for today. But it needs some bling. I think it needs some bling. So I am going to find the opening. <laughs> and I'm using these so pretty uh, red rhinestones. Not just for Christmas. Red rhinestones. Valentine's coming up. I would definitely stock up on these. Because as far as I know, they are available. But you know how that goes right now. What's available right now does not mean it's going to be available uh, a little later. Sadly. Sad but true. The way of the world, right? Gosh. I'm so tired of saying that. I honestly am. I'm just tired of it. Like many of you. But there you go. That is my card. Now let me show you my original. I did something a little bit different with the bling. Instead of stamping the center, I put three of the red rhinestones in the center of the daisy. So um, they're both just slightly different, but almost the same. Um, so what do you guys think? I hope you like it. Um, let me hold them up real quick in case you wanted to do a... Um, a quick screen grab of them. So I hope that you are following me here on facebook.com forward slash memory inkers. If you want to shop, my Stampin' Up! Web, um, store is memoryinkers.com. That'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! website. And please use the hostess code PGCTF7MZ at the end of your order. And um, that is how I'm able to give stuff away. So I appreciate that. And I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday. Bye.